Do your best impression of PK or Tipsy. Well, I need first of all the stuff on my lips, but. Welcome back to our stupid reactions, idiots. I'm Corbin. With me, as always, is this alien named Rick. His lips really freaked me out in the film. I hated it so much. Really? <laughs> yeah. Because uh, they were always stained? Yeah. With the stuff? Yeah, it grossed me out. Uh, <laughs> if you know our channel, go ahead and bash the like button, subscribe, and ring that little bell to be part of the notification squad. <gasps> And Twitter! Uh, today, uh, we watched PK. You betcha. Uh, and uh, this will be our review of says movie, PK. You betcha. Starring Amir our Khan. favorite, yes. Amir Khan. We do love uh, him. Well, yeah, but I've gotten attached. We're going to be going through a lot of his stuff. Daniel, yep. um, uh, some other ones I can't pronounce. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. we'll be going through those. So yeah, we watched it. And here are our thoughts. It was absolute garbage. We hated everything about it. Amir Khan just sucks at acting, right? You're a liar. Right? It, agree? What did you think? <laughs> I want to know what you think. Because um, I, I have I, a lot to say. I actually, I think, liked it more than uh, Three Beats. Um, certain parts. Um, uh, obviously, I think all the acting in the film was far and away better than Three Idiots. Um, and it's a very similar style of comedy. They do a lot of that, like, the, my, one of my least favorite things are like when something is like strange it, and people go like, huh? It has that little weird brrr. Of course, especially Amir Khan. <laughs> yeah, something happens and he goes, yeah. <laughs> so it's, yeah. Uh, it's all that. Obviously this character was an alien, so it was kind of fitting really well. Sure. Um, but I, I did, love the um Amir Khan from what I've heard in the comments oh spoiler alert by the way for those of you who haven't seen PK please stop watching go watch it we don't want to spoil it for you you've all seen PK not everybody have <laughs> um so we're he, spoiling now he likes to um do films that have a message in for them. sure uh like a powerful message power for sure and in the comments they've also called him Mr. Perfect uh, or Mr. Perfection or something. Mr. Perfectionist, yeah. Perfectionist. Yeah, it shows. Uh, but they, he likes to do films that have deep messages. It shows. Uh, the, the, the one, the three idiots was about, you know, um, stress, suicide. Right. Uh, social change. Yeah, social yeah. change. About speaking, the speaking of three idiots, I don't want to get off on a bunny trail, but did you recognize somebody in this film from three idiots other than Amir Khan? Was it the girl? No, who was it? The main newscaster guy who's her boss. Oh, was that With uh, the trident in the butt? That was the, the professor. Time. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. He was yeah. much better in this. Well, I, it showed his depth. It yeah. showed, I was like, I first saw him. I said, "Is that?" And then I realized, oh, okay, that yeah. guy's really good. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he was. He was much better in this. Um, but I loved the commentary this thing gave on obviously not just one religion, every single religion, uh, and the, we both obviously grew up in the church and. Uh, throughout our lives have been in the church. Um, and the issues, no matter which religion you're in, I think they're very similar. Mm -hmm. um, you're, the, the line at the end about um, the God who created us and the God you created yeah. was a phenomenal, phenomenal line. line. Because that's obviously the biggest issues I have with uh, big religion mm -hmm. is it's not, I think, what it should have been. <laughs> it's been. No matter what religion you are, it's systematized. It, yeah. Yeah, and like, or, or even better, more well put in this film of his um, God's managers or God's sales managers or mm. God's agents. I forgot the specifics of what they call them. Uh, I I I thought several things. First of all, I thought the script was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it was. I just the whole wrong number. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> it was a good way to kind of segue into the whole thing. Yeah, and uh, did a fantastic job of pointing out the things that are wrong without insulting people. Yeah. 
It it was very. And I'm wondering. I'm guessing this was received very well in, in India. Yeah, I've heard uh, it was a blockbuster um, and all that kind of stuff. And so obviously, I think y'all are a lot more open minded than a lot of people in America. Because if you did a film like this in America that was critiquing the church, mm -hmm. oh, people would burn theaters. Yeah, the, the well, you get you <laughs> get a combination of you'd get a combination of things, and it, none of them would be pretty. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so if it was well received and it would, I think the film had the right intentions behind it. It's, uh, it's, it's clear from, and I, I even wondered if Amir Khan had been part of the writing and I looked at it and I'm sure he had some input to the content but he wasn't part of the screenwriting team. I, 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 his portrayal, I thought everything about this movie was so genuine, mm -hmm. so honest, especially him. I thought his portrayal of this character, um, he had some moments that I, like his moment when he's in the shop with all of the statues, mm -hmm. and he's he's genuinely saying, "Why won't you answer me?" Mm -hmm. I just okay. I gotta know. Did you even get moist in the eyes? Oh no, not at all. Not even close. Guys, it I was, don't know. I don't understand. Okay, like, I didn't get emotional in this I, movie at all. Like, when would you have? Are you kidding? Yeah, I don't. I don't know when. You I have. openly wept several times in this film. When? So, oh my stuff. That that moment, first of all, yeah. when he's in the shop, the moment when he's oh, the moment when he's about to reveal that he loves her and he's written I love you on the card. Mm. And before she gets to his card, she gets to the other guy's card. Oh, yeah. And he can tell something's wrong, and he holds her hands and he's reading her thoughts. And he can see all the flashbacks that we saw of her with the love, and he realizes she loves somebody else. Mm. And that moment that Amir Khan has of realizing she loves someone else so I can't say this to her because I love her too much to hurt her and I, she's not mine, mm -hmm. that killed me. Mm -hmm. Then when he's sharing what he's sharing, when he's having that contest mm -hmm. and she get the whole sequence, that moment when she calls the embassy and they say her name and she says, how do you know it's me? And he says, every day, this, that didn't get you. No. Right here talking about it. I actually... Every day, he calls at 9-whatever and asks if there's been a phone call and then hangs up. I enjoyed it, but oh, no. Oh, I mean, it destroyed me. That's not my favorite type of films. Oh. Because it's all tied up in a little bow. I haven't... Oh, I... I would have rather them just to end that in a relationship, honestly. I, I have... <laughs> there are several films where I have, like... I can count how long I cried during the film. Mm -hmm. This movie is at the top of, of films that I've spent a lot of time crying in the movie. I spent a lot of time crying, PK. Did you cry in this film? Tell me. Come on, India. Wow. You. I didn't. You passion-filled... Emotional. I thought Three Idiots was beautiful. More emotional than this. That that was emotional, but this was way. More, it was especially emotional because of the sincerity of Amir Khan and what I felt was the sincerity of the script, of genuinely wanting to know the answers to this mm -hmm. question, because. I know for me, very personally, I went through a season of that in my life many many years ago. Of I felt, and I would think rightly so there really should be no more important question about who am I, why am I here, and why do I exist, and did God make me, and can I know God? I, I mean, what becomes more important? That's life and death and eternity all wrapped up in one. And I really felt that, that this wasn't a comedic attempt to try and cover that. I felt like this was a genuine attempt to point out all of the harmful fallacies in organized religions that take truth and pervert it in order to control people mm -hmm. rather than actually help bring about answers to life for people. And that for me was because I could feel that throughout the film, it just was way beyond anything mm -hmm. I was expecting. Yeah, I thought the whole religion is fashion, basically, yeah. aspect to it. And, the, and how beautifully he innocently points out the contradictions. Mm -hmm just would, would point them out and she, she recognized the brilliance of it. Mm -hmm. And he did it in such a sincere, that was the most important thing is this alien was so sincerely just wanting to know truth. Mm -hmm. And at the end, I'm getting emotional. I can't believe this didn't make you cry. When she says, 
there were two things that, that he learned. When did you did it not dawn on you? And did you not get emotional? This was another point where I cried. He says all of these recordings that have the sounds of the cor the horns and the cars, and I believed him. I thought, oh, he really did. That's so sweet. We need to take those things not for granted because those are beautiful things. And then she's listening, and all she hears is her voice. And I realized at the same time I went, he lied. Mm -hmm. They don't lie on his planet. But he's lying because he can't let her know. And then she said he didn't turn around because I don't think he wanted me to see him crying. And then when she's reading the book, I was just, from that moment, I was in tears. I mean, I was wiping tears streaming down my cheek. Mm -hmm. And you felt nothing. No. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> I, I I was so certain. I, I was certain this was the film that finally got you to cry. No. Ah! Oh, not, not even, even close. close. Not even close. Oh. Three Idiots is honestly would have been closer. Wow. Yeah. No, I cried way more in this than Three Idiots. I, I mean, th we're talking, I have to see tragic films like Schindler's List to cry more than I cried in PK. And this movie for me is at the top of my favorite movies ever. I love this movie. I immediately wanted to get my entire family together and have us all sit down and watch this. I want everybody I know to watch this movie because I think the script is great. The filming's great. The, the acting's great. The story's great. I just, I can't, I am, Blown away yeah. by this movie. Yeah, I mean, I love the film too. Blown away by this movie. I, I didn't cry. Um, I don't cry. Apparently not. <laughs> I'm dead inside. Uh, please let us know if Amir Khan has a bad film. Yeah, really. <laughs> and boy, I gotta tell you, that guy, we've only seen him in a couple of movies, but I can't... In, in, the, in the United States, if we think somebody is an absolute treasure is the word which for us would be people who are legendary in film, like Julie Andrews, we would call a national treasure. Tom Hanks. Um, Tom Hanks is a national treasure. Please tell me Amir Khan is a national treasure well, for I you guys. I assume he is. Yeah, because first of all, his face, man, you just can't take your eyes off of his I'm face. I'm waiting for, I think it'll be the film, will be Dangle, um, of him in, a, in all serious Right, no comedic, no face or anything. Well, I'll tell you, you know as well as I do, anybody who can do comedy yeah. nails drama, because comedy's harder than drama. It's true. So, he, he if, if to see him, in a, and now I kept looking for shades of Rancho, and there weren't any. Yeah, there weren't any. None movie. at all. Yeah. Purely, pure new character. Mm -hmm. So, I'm deeply, deeply impressed with Amir Khan. Yeah. So. <laughs> thank you for that recommendation. Oh, thank you for that recommendation. Uh, please let us know what other films we should watch next and review. And you have a goal now, everybody. You know what your goal is? Get Corbin to cry. And you know what you need to do? Send us a movie that has a military dog that dies. I wouldn't watch it. <laughs>